Hi fam, welcome back to our channel, Design on a Dollar. I'm your host, Ida. And today you see this lovely lamp here. Yes, I like it, I like the way it is, but um, I got this before I really knew what I wanted my sitting area to be. So, it's not, um, well I guess it is an upcycle revamp um, project. So this goes in our sitting area and if you don't know when I redo my room the colors are um, teal, gray, and white. So and it has the bling in the light in the at the the light up there. You remember the bling dome light we made? So that's in my sitting area. So I wanted this to kind to kind of match that. So that's what we're going to do today. So for this DIY, of course, you're going to need a lamp. Um, you probably can do this with any lamp that you have. Just use the crossbars that's in there. And you probably can add some more crossbars to actually make them fall at different lengths. You're going to need the spray paint of your choice. And I have, um, it's a primer, but it's a two-in-one. It's a gray coat. And this is the gray that's in my um, sitting area now. So I'm going to use this even though it's a primer. Of course, I'm going to use some bling because that's this is what the lamp is made with in the ceiling. And I'm going to use two different kinds of drops. I'm going to use the teardrops like this. I'm going to bring y'all down some in a little bit. And I'm going to use the, I guess you can say, well, I always call this a raindrop. And we're going to use the teardrops and the raindrops up here. So let's go ahead and get started. That's all you need. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, we're going to take one of each one of the layers off. And it's three links. And layers and these are pretty much like the um, bling has the same type style of um, thing to put it on so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to try to save it so I have this so I have one link like this and then I have to take one off of each one. So this is very noisy so I'm going to be quiet and take one off so you can see off each layer. So now we have all three of our layers off and what I'm going to do next is, well I can't do that, I have to take all of these off first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these off the lampshade and then I am going to take the lampshade um, outside and I'm going to spray the um, cover um, gray and then when I finish that I'll be back. Okay, so you can see that was fairly easy to do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it outside and spray paint it. And then when I finish spray painting it, I'll come back in and we'll go to the next step while we wait for it to dry. Okay fam, so what I've done already because these are so noisy, I have went on and counted each layer. Um, the long one has nine on it. The, sh the medium one has 12 and the short one has 14 around. Now, I can't count three down. What I have to do is I have to place this beside it and 
with with these right here I'll just add this and one to it so all my short ones I'm going to put the teardrop on it so I'll have 14 of these and on the um, medium size one I think I'm going to try to go with the um, teardrop and I forget what that one is <laughs> and then um, go back with the long one with the teardrop again so that's the that's the plan so with the middle one as you can see it already has three plus the um, drop so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place I'm going to take these three I'm going to sit it right here and then I'm going to add the remaining and like that and then I'm going to keep this hook right here so I'm going to take it off from right here and I'm going to measure all the rest of them from this one and then I have this length for this one then I'm going to do the same thing over here take one off all it is to the short one the medium is already done and we'll do the long one the exact same way we did the short one so I'm going to make these and um, when I come back we'll move on our shade is dry and it's painted and this is a lighter gray I found I felt like it looked better and I think because it has the shimmer in it as well. You're gonna do, so this, the, this outer ring is for the short ones, medium and long. So let's see. And the good thing about these is that it's already holes um, in it. Yep. A lot easier than the overhead one that we made. So I'm going to do a few of these on camera. I'm going to do a few of them on camera and then go off and finish that. Finish this row and then come back when it's time to do the next row. So all of the first layer is on and we're going to turn it over to see what it looks like. And there we have the first layer. And you could stop, you could stop right there if you want to because that's pretty by itself. Guys, it was five in between here so it, would end, it ended up being 15 and not 14. So now we have the second layer that has the um, drop on it but so we're going to continue and do it the same way 
open it. Find a hole, slide it through there. All right, guys, so I'm going to finish this layer and then... Okay, guys, so the second layer is on and my moment has passed and it's a raindrop and a teardrop. So um, the second layer is 12 layers, of, 12 strands of rain raindrops. So now I'm going to go in with the last layer, which is nine, and it'll be another layer of teardrops. All of the pieces are on now, so I am going to reposition the camera so we can put it on and see what it looks like. Okay. Get everything untangled. Okay, here she is, right here. I will upcycle, redo crystal lamp to go with our crystal dome light that we made. Okay, and here she is with the light on. She has that soft glow. with the gray just shining through just a little. Okay fam, so don't forget to rate comment, subscribe, like, and share. And until next time, I love you guys. Bye-bye.